what we got here is the best bucket wine makers, champagne makers in the world. And none of them know if they've won the big awards or not. We are celebrating excellence in sparkling wine and just being here is already a great honor. Wonderful to see everyone here again, a lot of familiar faces. There's so many good wines out there, so fingers crossed. It's such a great celebration after all the hard work we, we put in over the summer. I really hope we're going to win the award. It's time to give out the prizes. I'm Guy Hayward, founder of the English Wine Collection. We're in Kent to take you behind the scenes of the Champagne and Sparkling Wine World Championships. Join us as we find out how the finest sparkling wines in the world are judged. I'm Tom Stevenson and I'm the founder and chairman of the Champagne and Sparkling Wine World Championships. I decided to specialise in the sparkling wine because nobody had done a sparkling wine competition that was judged only by sparkling wine experts. My name is Essie Avalon, I'm one of the judges at the Champagne and Sparkling Wine World Championships. My area of expertise for the past 20 years have been champagnes and sparkling wines of the world. I don't drink anything else with bubbles but champagne and other sparkling wines. My name is George Markush and I'm judge here at the championships. It is a very holistic competition of, of basically who is who in the sparkling wine world. It's a privilege to, to do this job and it's, it's something that if you're into wine, you love doing. This event is very important, not only for us, but I think for a lot of growers and producers all over the world. Because, you know, this is probably the most authentic competition for sparkling wines in the world. I really love the elegance, the lightness, the freshness, the, the energy what is in the sparkling wines. I specialize in champagne and sparkling wine because I think they are the best balanced wines in the world. My name is Matteo Lunelli and I'm the president and CEO of Ferrari Trento. Ferrari Trento is a Trento dock, so we are a mountain sparkling wine from the region of Trentino in the northeast of Italy. All our wines are traditional method sparkling wine created with Chardonnay or Pinot Noir grapes cultivated on the mountains. My name is Maud Rabin and my role is a Global Brand Director for Rare Champagne. My champagne is one of the most prestigious cuvées which exists in the world. My name is Ed Carr. I'm the winemaker for the House of Arras from Tasmania. Our sparkling wines are very elegant and complex. They're really long-aged. They have a lot of richness and development, but they really keep this lovely vibrancy, which I think is a key part of our style. We use the Chardonnay inside our Champagne from La Montagne de Reims, which is the kingdom of Pinot Noir. That's why you have this freshness, this minerality. This feeling of rare champagne will give you, you know, the youth forever. Our sparkling wines are made for those who appreciate great bubbles and those who are passionate also about Italian lifestyle. We are proud to be ambassador of Italian art of living. We into this competition because it is a truly great show that focuses on sparkling wine from all around the globe. We've got some very experienced judges, sort of masters in their field, and I just think it's a brilliant way to bring sparkling wine together. The Champagne and Sparkling Wine World Championship has helped, I think, to promote the diversity of sparkling wine from different regions. This competition for us is one of the most respected competition in the world. We're excited to participate and we look forward to see who is going to win 
all winemakers love endorsement of their wine. And I think for the consumer, um, to have a wine endorsed by such learned panels gives them a level of competence when they go to buy that wine. I hope we will be awarded because this would be considered much more than a privilege, a true honour. I'm Donald from Sensible Wine Services. Our role is to make sure that everything runs smoothly. We're in the background, but we play a key part. We chill and store all the wines, supply appropriate glassware, and then label and deliver the wines to be judged. In total, we receive just over 3,000 wines. The total weight of all the bottles, magnums and Jeroboam's combined comes to around about eight tonnes. This job is really challenging because we're constantly running just to keep up with, with the pace of the judges. It is such a privilege to be part of Champagne and Sparkling Wine World Championships. This is my seventh year and, and it's my favourite competition of the year. I'm Roger Jones, Mission Star Chef, and I cook for the judging team. Besides being a Mission Star Chef, I also have a love of wine and judge wine. And it's the balance of getting the two things together it is so important that neither is higher than the other. Food and wine has to be equal. And it's so interesting with champagne, because champagne is a wine that matches perfectly with food. Well, I have the opportunity of tasting and trying and matching the finest champagnes and sparkling wines in the world with great food. And that's such a rare chance. And it's a huge privilege. We are three judges who taste all the wines, so that's the main difference to all other competitions. The judging process involves tasting wines totally blind. We taste them, the wines divided into different categories within each country, each region, and then stylistically after that. It's a great responsibility. We want to be really, really fair. Everybody has to agree. Uh, on a medal. So without common agreement, there is no medal awarded. When we're judging, we're looking for a, a colour that matches its age. We're looking on the nose for some freshness, on the palate. We're looking at the mousse to make sure that it's smooth, tiny bubbles, creamy. Overall, if you ask what a judge looks for, when the wine has gone through all of that and it's in the mouth and we're swirling it around before we spit it out, we're looking for balance. Acidity, fruit, mousse, everything has to be in balance. I think it's important that sparkling wine producers are seen as producers of fine wine in their own right and that they're judged by people that understand the style. After all of the hard work that the judges put in in Kent, tonight we're here in London to find out which champagne and sparkling wine gained the judges' approval. Looking forward to seeing who is going to win the different awards. We can't wait to see what happens. A little bit apprehensive, I guess, being an entrant in this. You know, you're always hoping that your wines do well. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage your host for tonight. Tom Stevens. We have so much to get through tonight, including more trophies than ever before. The winner of Best Cover for 2023 is Masset Wines 2020. And the winner of Best Australian Sparkling Wine 2023 is House of Arras. There's a lot of hard work by a lot of people and you know to finally see that come come through to the bottle and the glass and then to take a trophy like like tonight just absolutely brilliant.
Sparkling Wine Producer of the Year. And the winner for 2023 is Ferrari Trento Dom. We just received the Sparkling Wine Producer of the Year Award. And uh, this is actually the sixth time that happens. So very, very proud and very happy. And the winner of Supreme World Champion for 2023 is Raw Champagne 2008 Villacy in Lang. Something quite unique style-wise in Champagne because of where the uh, grapes come from. Uh, there's a lot of Chardonnay from the Montagne de Reims, which is particularly exotic. So there is this uh, sweet, exotic fruitiness and a lot of toast, an amazing backbone of acidity. It's really something totally unique um, in the world of Champagne. I'm so happy. <laughs> we are so moved. It's like a dream. The best award for us and uh, my team will be so, so, so happy. I'm so happy to come back with all the awards, Sui. Oh, nous sommes tellement heureux et très émus, très émus. So, merci. Everything came together this year and I think everyone's had a fabulous time. From the judging process to the awards itself, it's been an incredible event. Raise a glass to bubbles.